Hey everyone, it is August the 9th and you are at the weekly community call for chaos. Thank you so much for being here. We have um, kind of a light agenda, so that's awesome. I always like a light agenda. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here's, here's what's going on. Here we go. Um, Does anybody need the minutes? If so, yeah. we can drop them. Okay. Um, okay, good. Yep. Yeah, I think we're good. Yep, we um, please add your name. Let us know what the weather's going on, where you are right now, so that I can feel um, envious of people who have way better weather than I do. Sophia, I think I'm with you. It's like just oppressive today. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, and on too. Yeah. But hopefully the cooler weather is on the way for, for everyone. Maybe who knows or warmer weather. If you're someplace where it's chilly, who knows? Uh, welcome to the people who just joined. Let's drop the minutes in here for them. There we go. Um, please add your name and the weather. Cause those are things that like, I think are interesting. Probably nobody else does, but I think they're interesting. So um, we have a couple of items from last week. Um, I don't know if you all remember if you were here or if you watched the recording, but these two docs, the path to leadership and the roles and responsibilities were surfaced as part of the, uh, the rework of all of the community handbook information that Ruth and Shoya have been working on. So we had these two documents and they were kind of a mess and we decided, we brought it up in the DEI and the common working groups. And we decided that maybe we should combine these two documents and build off of some work that um, the CNCF has done in, the, in regard to the con contributor ladder, I think they call it. Is that right, Dawn? Yeah, she's nodding. Okay, um, so I took the action item to try to pull them together and get some kind of draft ready to share that we can then work on. Because I think it was a little overwhelming for us as a community to kind of jump in and start making changes to these documents. So that's where it stands. If this is something that you care about and you're not at the DEI or common working group, let me know and I will send you the link and you can obviously give your, your two cents. Because we would really like a lot of eyes on these two documents. Um, and just for the record, here they, here they kind of were, um, just to refresh people's um, memories on this and and you know some of it's still okay but some of it's maybe not as accurate or as as um you know maybe it could read a little easier read a little better and and kind of match this um, idea of a, a laddership contributor laddership or mm -hmm. is that right i don't know <laughs> laddership yeah. i like it that, i don't think that's a word i just made uh, that up Ladder laddership <laughs> i think it's a word now I, I'm just going to have a little more coffee. Thanks, everybody. All right. Okay. So anyway, so that's where that stands. That's what's going on. We'll get it together and we'll bring it back to the group. Um, I think that's all from last week. Does anybody have anything else from last week that is unresolved in their minds that maybe was not on the agenda or has some kind of action items? Here's what we talked about. Matt G is still out this week. So We'll, we'll pounce on him when he returns and demand an update of all of his action items. I'm just kidding, we won't actually do that. Um, yeah, we didn't really have much else going on last week. We did, we discussed this code spaces. Sean, is there anything to add on that for this week? Totally fine if um, not. I have done, an, I have started my experimentation and I have not completed the successful construction of a code space yet, okay. but uh, it, is in, in progress. Okay, cool. Um, so new items, let's just jump right here. Everyone needs to give a huge <laughs> congratulations to Armstrong for defending his thesis. And now we will call you Dr. Foundjem. Dr. So, Foundjem, Dr. F. Dr. F. Ooh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> Do you wanna drop a link to your published work so we can all look at it in awe and amazement? Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, pull that out. I know we had that at the evolution working group, but I did not save. I don't think that. I have saved. it. I didn't. I don't know if I saved it, but I have it. If I can maybe find it. Okay. 
Okay, while Sean does that. You got it. Uh, you got it? Yeah. It's Armstrong's thesis. I'll put it in the minutes now. Yes. Look at this. Amazing work. Some light reading for you all. Yeah. Very awesome work, Armstrong. We're really, really proud of you. And I know that was a lot of hard work, so. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. All right, the next item, probably the biggest topic of conversation. Welcome you, Hoi, even though it's now mid, like 10 past midnight your time in China. We really appreciate you staying awake um, to discuss this. So I'm gonna just turn this over to you. Um, I'm going to stop sharing because I'm assuming you're probably going to want to share. So yeah, let me see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I would like to share my screen to show the documentation about. Okay. Do you have permission to do that, Yahui? Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I never I'm know from sharing. Zoom yep. account to Zoom account what permissions people have. Yeah. I'm already sharing my screen. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. So the basic background <clears throat> is here. Uh, so we would like to build a public uh, SaaS service, uh, SaaS platform for open open source community. Uh, here also Netflix based on the chaos metrics model. And uh, this come from the uh, the little back background story, the Gatey, uh, which is uh, the largest, largest uh, code hosting platform in China. And uh, uh, the CTO of this uh, uh, Getty uh, came to me and uh, to to say they are looking for a uh, complete and uh, uh, evolved metrics model system to help help uh, the open source projects and community uh, managed by the Getty. You know, as you know, at, at least uh, on this docu documentation here in Getty, they have managed over uh, like 15 million project uh, in this platform. So in the past, they already call, they already have some metrics uh, used for all the metric uh, for all the projects under this uh, uh, platform called Getty Index to check the health of the each of single project. But they think they are old or legacy. Uh, Getty index is not that, um, uh, I mean, meaningful to help people to continue to monitoring their their project health status. So they came to chaos and looking for help on that. So I I based on this point, I recommend chaos metrics model and uh, Grim Lab at Bitcoin Solution, and uh, propose to uh, to build a new uh, SaaS service. So we quickly we quickly collaborate together uh, to set up this uh, prototype, and uh, currently we already verified over ten thousand uh, project under Gate. So here we have a proposal here. Um, so we would like to build uh, uh, this SaaS platform, which is public for all the projects, which is host uh, hosted on the GitHub Gate and uh, GitLab. And also the chaos metrics model should be the only entry point or only source of the SaaS metrics model. So which means all the metrics model would uh, prov provided by, by chaos. And uh, the goal is that at least here, at least some, some goal. So the first goal is that, as you know, that I, uh, from the last year in August, last August, we start uh, this metrics model working group, we are working together to build uh, some new ideas uh, about to focus on some scenarios or story, new the stories uh, of the uh, existing in the uh, real world open source community to say how to build a metrics model which combined with uh, exist chaos metrics and to help I suppose people or to help community managers, these people, to uh, to figure out uh, if, uh, uh, in some perspective, uh, a metrics model could help them to 
to help them to improve to improve the uh, 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 health of the community. But uh, but uh, uh, we also have some uh, difficulties to face. Like um, we really need to uh, platform to help us to make it deployed uh, and uh, to be used widely by by the different people come from the different community project or projects. So we have these infrastructure problems. So here, uh, as Getty started like um, uh, collaborating with with us, so uh, we can use this chance to broadcast the old metrics model to overcome these challenges, and uh, to help us to build this uh, chaos metrics model. So and yeah. Also, sorry, yeah, here we go ahead. Please. So I was just going to say that this this initiative would allow anyone to come and sign up and say these are the met these are the repositories I want to see metrics models for and this is a proof of concept that could be ported or made available via open source through chaos so that anyone who wanted to stand up something like this which right now it has grimoire lab at the back end if I'm not mistaken um, this this will make a sort of a platform available to more people in short exactly and as I mentioned, yes, as as Shane mentioned, it's built by Google Map as backend, and and uh, in in the current phase, but uh, it's not limited to one backend. It's also to uh, you know to compatible with other platform backends like uh, like Augur or in the future many other platforms. So the infrastructure, the whole structure we we design for this. Uh, SaaS, SaaS platform, it's not bound to a, any single backend, but in order to make our POC solution quickly deployed and verified, we choose group map, we choose group map, which is, I am more fam familiar with it, so I can help the whole progress going forward quickly. And, and also here, uh, the, the other some goals, as you can see that, the third goal uh, is the point of the problem, the Getty platform. People they want to uh, to to solve, like uh, to build better inside tools for for the project they host. And uh, and the, as you know that we build a lot of metrics model uh, right now and in the future, we want to verify our metrics model with real world community data, and we can utilize this. A SaaS platform to help us to verify, verify it, and it, and also of course we can contribute back to the chaos metrics model and the metrics. So currently we have some milestones here. Some we already achieved, and some we planned in the future, in the near future. So we we already got uh, the whole. A POC of SAS structure design finished. Later, I will show the whole structure to you. And uh, we already uh, deployed some metrics model. We contributed to the chaos, like a community activity. And the infrastructure uh, setup is ready. And uh, in current phase, we are going to, uh, to do in the whole front end, uh, the design work and, deep, and, and the deployment work. So this work is ongoing, uh, which is uh, friendly. Uh, and also more metrics model will be verified. As I mentioned, all the metrics model will be verified and um, with selected gated uh, over 10,000 projects and uh, some projects selected from GitHub projects. And uh, in the September this year, uh, we are gonna do some, uh, we are gonna pre-launch this service to all, all the, to some uh, small scope of people, of course the people from Chaos, to let user to to try to use it, to see how it works, how it feeling when it use it, to get we can get up, get up, get uh, enough feedback from the user experience perspective, and we continue to improve that. And by the end of this year, or before the end of this year, um, before uh, 
at the time of the matrix model first version released, we are going to launch our first version of this service. And also we are gonna to decide um, which scope or which side of matrix model uh, are going to be deployed on this service as first time. So I also list some key questions where um, uh, that um, maybe some, some people would more care about. Uh, first, who would provide infrastructure support? So currently, Getty, Getty would provide um, um, the infrastructure fully support. And also we consider uh, some other support from other companies or from other organizations uh, is welcoming. And uh, as I mentioned in, in some other meeting in Pacific or metrics model meeting, I also mentioned that my, my company Huawei also would like to uh, contribute some infrastructure support if they, uh, such uh, our platform is going to extend it in the future. And in current phase, who would provide uh, SaaS design and deployment and maintaining work? So currently the chaos people uh, from us, uh, my, uh, myself and Chinti and, uh, and also the people from Getty, uh, they provide four engineers almost the 40 time work on the whole SAS design work together with us. And uh, before, I mean, the, before the SAS uh, pre-launch uh, or the first version launch, I think this working team scope would be fixed, but in the, uh, the purpose of that, we just need to make the whole progress going forward quickly. And in the future, we would like to more people from, from chaos uh, to work, uh, to contribute to this SaaS service because uh, I would like to mention it later. Mm because all the solution related to the SaaS uh, would be open sourced and uh, we would like to con uh, uh, contribute to chaos, include the front end solution and also some backend solution. So ultimately the, the initial effort here is gonna result in additional shared software in the chaos open source organization. Exactly, exactly. So, um, who, what, what is the service present eyes? Uh, this, the, the, this SaaS platform would be uh, served as a web page service, similar like uh, RFX uh, insights. Uh, I, can't here. I, don't know. I think the, probably the biggest difference would be that we wouldn't necessarily pre-populate all of the repositories in the LF um, in this instance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's not bound to the repositories uh, related to the RF, but also open to the all the projects hosted on the GitHub and Giddy and Git GitLab. Uh, yep, I already mentioned that. Uh, it's gonna support the projects hosted on the GitHub, Giddy and GitLab. But considering the, you know, the, the whole working load and the progress. So, firstly, we are going to, we are going to support uh, GitHub and Getty. Firstly, in the first version, but in, in the future work, we are going to support it uh, with, uh, with with Git, GitLab. So, who can apply the data insights of projects? Uh, at the beginning, uh, we uh, we we think the people who have ownership. Of, of, of a project like maintainers or community managers could apply this data insights on this service. And uh, how would we manage technology as located in China or located any, any, uh, elsewhere? So we have two phases. In, in phase one, we deploy the service located in China, but even if it's in China, the service is available for, for the people all over the world. It's just, it's not just the limited people who locate in China. In phase two, we are gonna deploy some servers host outside of China and to, you know, to make, to help people 
outside of China access it more quickly um, and, and can conveniently. But uh, at any phase of, of the deployment, we uh, would making sh make sure uh, the service available for the people all over the world. And uh, does it only support Gordon Live backend solution, as I mentioned earlier? Uh, at the beginning, uh, based on my background, I'm more, I'm more familiar with Gordon Live. And so we start from Gordon Live. But in the future, we are not going to bind uh, only one backend. We are going to find more. We are open for more backend, like Augur and many other. Uh, backend solutions. Uh, what uh, single sign uh, this solution uh, <clears throat> that the solution integrate haven't haven't decided yet. Yeah, we are going to open source it and uh, contribute to to chaos. Uh, would personal uh, personal information be public? So uh, so all the personal personal information should be anonymized. So that's that's the basic rule we have to uh, uh, follow it. So the help or the, seek, uh, the support we are seeking for from the community first, uh, we need name of the service, both in China and in, China, uh, and in, in, in Chinese and in English. Uh, here we have some proposal already. Uh, chaos Insight or Chaos Insight. Um, this is what we choose right now. Uh, this is an English name. And um, we have our Chinese name, uh, Chaos Insight Kai Yuan Zhi Shu, which could be translated to Ch uh, Chaos Insight Open Source Index. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The similar like Chaos Insight, just so that, uh, that does a good job of explaining the initiative, Yahui. Uh, is there any comment that people have on it? Uh, is everyone, I guess, what questions do people have? I well, might be inclined to avoid the word insights because that's how the Linux Foundation brands LFX. And I think yeah. it will cause confusion if we if we mm -hmm. use insights. I think you're right. That's a good point. Sorry, and naming naming is hard. I yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I understand. So, do you have any good suggestions? <laughs> Up, upsites. 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 <laughs> Another new word. Uh, Upside. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I'm just making words up now, Yahui. Okay. Sure. We we can define. We 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 we, we can choose it. This Georg's got a good suggestion in chat. Chaos dashboards. That that might work pretty nicely. Okay. Clearly communicates what we're doing without causing confusion. So I also want to say this looks like a really great project. I, I'm super excited to see um what you're all doing and i would love to connect you with with our team that has built cauldron which is also built on grimoire lab as a software as a service mm -hmm. because i i think there might be some challenges along the way that we may have already solved or you have different approaches to solving it so i would love to connect this project with our cauldron team uh, and see if we can learn from each other. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Georg. Bye, Don. Yeah. So okay. do you have um, a prototype that you can maybe show us? Not. Um... Uh, because currently we haven't uh, got uh, the whole front end designed and de and, and uh, the, uh, deployment ready, so we only verify it with uh, our metrics model together with Google Map on this over ten thousand 
uh, Getty projects. So it start running. This is this infrastructure. It's uh, this whole structure is designed already uh, to to see how to see how it works uh, of this of this service. So basically, um, and here is the front end solution, and in the in the right part we choose the uh, we deployed uh, green pipe uh, as a cluster uh, into the uh, as a, as node. And uh, we also use the C module to, to take in control of all the data fetching, uh, analysis, and clean. And uh, after uh, the, the, all the data would uh, would be um, uh, stored stored in the open search uh, this database. And also we are gonna uh, have a, a new module called Open Metrics Model, which used to integrate the metrics model we uh, contribute on the chaos metrics model working group. So all the mechanism and the metrics existed this in this metrics model would be implemented and deployed under this uh, module. And uh, and also uh, as I mentioned, uh, this new module uh, would be contributed mm -hmm. to the chaos. As a full, as a part of solution of the whole SaaS service, and uh, in the in the left part, and um, it's in, it's used to um, to fetch in the uh, the result of the matrix model to be connected to the the new Getty index, which means uh, as I mentioned. The in current in current phase, Getty have their own uh, metrics model ca called um, Getty Index, and uh, in the future they would like to use the metrics model result deployed on this service and import it into the all the uh, uh, imported into the Getty. So all the Getty project. As I mentioned, over fifteen million project uh, will uh, get the result of the metrics model deployed on this service. That's the result uh, we go, we are going to support for the Getty. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned here. Uh, we are going to contribute all the key modules, as I mentioned here, including the front end solution and the open metrics model. This uh, this solution back to the chaos. So anyone and anyone could uh, uh, collaborate uh, together to help us to um, to improve this service. And uh, um, so, as you know, that once this service is is online, uh, we would like to create high efficient and precise to define which metrics model is ready to be deployed on the service. Because, as you know, we would like to making the whole metrics model to be involved efficiently. So once this a new model is deployed, uh, it's ready. We think it's ready. We should have a way to make it deployed um, as soon as possible on this service to be uh, which to could make this model be verified quickly to see how it works. Does it really help the people from the community? And also we consider how to use the data we collected. We consider the university people. They could use this data to, to get more deep research based on the metrics model. And uh, on this part, uh, we, may, I, we may need to uh, create a new terms of the service and also the provide, uh, provide, uh, privacy terms about how to use 
this data to making sure there's no personal uh, uh, information leaked <clears throat> from the service. Yeah, the last uh, support I you know, we need to uh, get support from 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 community that how to broadcast the service mm -hmm. upon the chaos community social media. Yeah. I mean, I think that's easily. I mean, that's we can certainly tweet. <laughs> We know how it's done. We even know better now. Yeah. The last few weeks we've been unraveling the secrets that Georg left us in our tweet deck configuration. Actually, we already we also have uh, some collaboration from the people in China, uh, like Tencent, Baidu. This organizations also the mm -hmm. people from some universities mm -hmm. like um, uh, Peking, Beijing University, and also Nan Nanjing University. Some nice. professors from these un uh, universities would would work together with us around this service and also the matrix model contributions to help us to broadcast the matrix model uh, and contribute or exist in the chaos. Very nice. Yeah, this is this is amazing. I'm super excited to see what you're putting together here. Now, you you shared a couple of questions, and it sounds like many of them have been answered. What is something that you are currently struggling with or working through, where we, everyone here on this call, can can help with? Uh, yep, I missed the one thing. We need to uh, decide the domain of this uh, service. Um, you know, uh, Gitia has uh, just registered the chaos dot uh, org, and uh, they are they are willing to contribute this domain name to our community. So we would like to choose insight dot chaos dot org as the service name because we have decided as soon as possible. So, uh, but as Don mentioned, insights could uh, get some uh, misunderstanding with the uh, RFX <clears throat> insights. Yeah. So I think, how to decide it? I think if you switch to dashboard.chaos.org, that would be, that would cause, yeah, or dashboards as Georg suggests. I think that will limit the confusion. I think, I think if we use insights, whomever, met, I don't remember who mentioned it first, but I think that will create some confusion. And I don't think we want to launch a new um, example service or whatever we call this. Um, we're not a company, so it's not a new product. Um, but whatever it is, um, we don't want to launch it and have it be confusing to people, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. <clears throat> I have a question. Sure. Um, so I know a part of this is to verify uh, the metrics models that we think make sense to us. Mm -hmm. um, is there a way, or will there be a way for people to kind of pick and choose their own metrics and like make their own metrics models? Or are we kind of just like boxing them into here's this one package you can get or this package of metrics or this package of metrics? And um, that's a really good question, because uh, I think if we pick up some of the um, metrics together to let people to freely, uh, freely to choose, select uh, some metric existing chaos, which means this side of metrics have to create some um, meaningful things like um, to help some people based on some user story or scenarios. That is metrics model. We would like to you know, to to mix in, uh, uh, combine as um, or work as uh, integrated as a matrix model first, and even we ha we don't have time or uh, we don't have um, uh, resource resources to improve the if it works or not, we can deploy it as a beta matrix model on this service to let people to verify if it works or not. 
but I, I don't think in the our first version to let people freely to choose any any side of the matrix or chaos matrix to 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 you know to create their own customized matrix model on the service directly. We have to make sure we we got some discussion uh, under uh, in our community or in our matrix model working group to say okay it's it makes sense. At least we can make it available as a beta version on the service, and then we can deploy it. As you know, that infrastructure is it's costly. We have to consider that computers cost money. Yes, it's a true story. And then um, that's excellent. Thank you, Yehoi. It looks like um, Georg also is along in alignment with that as well based on his experience. Um, one other quick question for models, and maybe we won't include these kinds of models at the beginning, but for models that do include data that is not available through an API, are, are those are, I guess, are like down the line. Like we, we can't right. handle those yet. So, okay. Yeah. But the, so, but the idea would be that eventually we would be able to integrate those models as well and test those out to see. Okay, perfect. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm just putting some notes from the chat in here that Georg made because I think they're they're helpful. Um, you know that, that offering only a small set of things early on is going to limit confusion, and also when you limit confusion, you limit support requests. When you limit support requests, you move towards sustainability. I think. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's actually a really good point, Sean, is like, who do who do we point people to for support requests or troubleshooting or um, uh -huh. questions? Like, yeah, we would I, have to have some, like, a team in place to handle all of that. The, is, is that okay. the optimal, my opinion is the optimal solution would be that at least a placeholder repository for this work would be created under the chaos org and they could uh, just include a link in the dashboard for people to open an issue um, inside yes. that repo or it could be a, it, it could be a giddy repo um, i think for people in north america and europe the, the giddy interface is a little harder to digest just mm -hmm. because some of it's in chinese but um, you know where they where you direct people or even if you open an issue using an api and a form on the on the site doesn't matter. I think that, in, I mean, I think just having a place to cache these kinds of things will be important. Exactly. Exactly. So in, in my first thinking, I would like to, uh, the people from, from KT and the people from, uh, from my, my team, uh, you know, in my team, I have, I, I have three or four people working together with me and, uh, could, uh, could provide such service at the first, uh, you know, stage. But uh, we cannot provide this 7 plus uh, 724 uh, support at always. But uh, as you mentioned, we would like to provide some uh, communication channel in, in our Slack. And also, as you know that, we would like to contribute uh, our solution, the whole uh, SaaS service solution to the, to the chaos. We would like to uh, have a link of this on this service uh, of the of the repository mm. to let people to to fill a pull request or, or or issue ticket to help people to answer that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that all makes sense. It makes and sense to me. Georg, yeah, as Georg points out too, mm -hmm. um, community support would be maybe like the long-term solution is to just have it kind of self-sustaining. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But in the, in the short term, I think as long as we have a place to queue things up, um, it still puts the, the entire burden on the team at Giddy and Yu Yahui and until the software is open sourced. But um, at that point, then you get a much larger group of folks who would be able and willing to help troubleshoot it. Yeah. So where's the work currently occurring? I would imagine in an alpha repo for pre-release things somewhere in the universe. 
Yahui can answer that specifically. Uh, you mean uh, current work we 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 have already set up on an organization on GitHub. Um, the people from Getty and the people from my team working together on on the solutions, including the code uh, code uh, implementation and also the we have actually we have two meeting uh, every week to sync up the whole working progress. And uh, and uh, I think in the future, uh, on, in the in September, uh, when when we think the the pork solution of the whole uh, service is ready, we are going we are going to pre-launch it and uh, try try to uh, you know open up to some uh, scope of people to try to uh, try try to use it. And uh, and in the in the future, in after it's launched, we are going to contribute the whole solution to the chaos. And uh, after that, uh, I think we may to, you know, organize it as a as a as a community work together with other people. Uh, at Euro, we host it on, on on the chaos, no matter through the community meeting or or the issue a uh, matrix model meeting, we can we can discuss related topic around these stories. When you open source it and contribute the source code to the chaos project, um, just thinking ahead, would you want to put it on GitHub together with the rest of chaos? Or would you want to work with us to keep it on Gitty since Gitty is main maintainer. Maybe they want to keep it there. Uh, uh -huh. That's we, mission. we just yeah, need I... to talk about it and figure it out from the logistics yeah. and get the chaos board on board as well. We have uh, actually I have discussed with the people from this from Gitty, especially the CTO of Gitty. Uh, actually, he have uh, support agreed and support that they would. Um, contribute the, the whole solution to the chaos on GitHub. And they also would uh, mirror up the solution on Gitty. So all the main solutions, uh, all the solutions lead to the story, uh, code commit uh, and the issue and the pull request would happen on GitHub. But they would like to sync up the solution on Gitty. Yeah, thank you. Wow, I, that is super generous, and I'm super excited. This is this is fantastic. Yeah. And uh, so, I have to come back to this domain name. That's really dashboard dot chaos dot org. It's our stories. It it's our choice. A choice. Do we have any other bad ideas? Oh. <laughs> I think we're open to different ideas. I, I don't know if any of them are going to be better or worse. <laughs> this, this ultimately yeah. is a branding thing and you don't want to consult me on that. <clears throat> okay. Do we want uh, Gertie? dashboards with an S? I think Georg had recommended that a little earlier. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I don't know if there was intentionality for the plural or not plural, but I would register both and forward one to the other, and then just have one be the one. I I don't have preference. Oh, with oh that's a yeah, that's a good point. Just have dashboards and dashboard be resolving. We just have oh, and you control chaos.org, so you can do that pretty easily. I love how open and transparent you are about this project and bringing this to the community early on and working through the challenges together. And yeah, I just really appreciate that. Yep. Because we think that uh, uh, we have a lot of contribution and uh, collaboration together on the chaos in the past two, two years. And we love the work and the collection uh, and people in this community. So that's why uh, I would like to, you know, 
get more um, uh, support from China and uh, involve more people from China working together with our community to making our community getting better and better. Uh, we That's are awesome. almost. Thank you. It, yeah. Yes. 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 Um, we're almost out of time, sadly. Yehoi, thank you so much for all of this work and all of this coordination and just the thought that has gone into it is absolutely wonderful. And I'm super excited, like everyone else, to see how it kind of unfolds. And um, whenever it's, uh, it sounds like you are, you kind of are on a roll with your group. So whenever you're ready for more people or if you need support from us by all means like make sure that you know you reach out and and ask some specific requests if you have specific things that you need i need i know you have your list here but um yeah if there are like specific things or specific issues you want us to help with by all means just put requests in and i can also add stuff to the newsletter too so whenever sure. you you know have like a specific thing let me know sure thank you yeah please yeah Yay. I think we only had, um, this is great. And any, anybody has any other comments? Um, we can, you know, talk about this again next week, or please come to the metrics models. If you are able to make that, um, that topic will also come up there. So please feel free to join that meeting as well. And I think the only other thing, um, I just wanted to mention real quickly before we leave is that if anybody is going to be at chaos con EU, and if you have live streaming knowledge and experience. Um, we would love to have you share that experience with us and help us out in that capacity because um, I think it's just pretty much Sean and Matt G who mm -hmm. are gonna try to be doing this and they also have other things to do at the conference. So, so we're really looking for some support there. I think all the other support um, folks that usually do this are not able to attend the, the conference this year. So yeah, if you're gonna be at ChaosCon, you and you know how to do this stuff please reach out to matt sean um, if you're able to help out with that so i think that's it for now um yeah i think uh we're good well, i'm gonna go ahead and end the meeting everybody have a great yeah. day thanks again you for all your work thanks everybody uh, awesome and we'll see y'all later thanks everyone